Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Let's Play Silent Hill Origins. The fifth game in the series, and the very first to be developed by a Western team following the disbanding of Team Silent in the wake of Silent Hill for The Room. And this one had a pretty tumultuous development period to boot. We'll get into that. Uh, it's directed by Sam Barlow, who would also go on to write Shatter Memories and also her story. And it is, as the name implies, an origin story. Uh, it's a Les's origin, so it's a prequel to Silent Hill 1. There are a few things I, I dislike about this, but I think there are more things I like. It's not nearly as polarizing as Silent Hill 4, which is why I've never had a big desire to LP that one. But I'll happily do this, because at the end of the day, I think it's got quite a bit to offer. So, as usual, I'm going to take things slow and take an exhaustive approach to being your Silent Hill Origins tour guide. And I'm going to do what I normally do with horror LPs and let the atmosphere breathe. And we're going to take a trip through what might be the most underrated Silent Hill game. Who'd I just pass there? That you, good buddy? Street top tall and wall to wall. Travis, you messed up son of a bitch. What you doing on my road? Well, hit on a gig, bud. I'm taking the shortcut past Silent Hill. Stop up for coffee as soon as I hit Brahms. I'm beat. Bad dreams still keeping you awake. I told you, man. A girl or two would go a long way. Sleep like a baby with a chicken, your cat. Guess I just don't meet the right girls, bud. Maybe if you weren't always blabbering about Luby and Batman's when you do your book, how you don't even remember how or why. Hey, chill. You don't see me bringing up your issues. <laughs> no need. My old lady keeps me fully informed of my feelings. The girl keeps notes. You mean she hasn't left you yet? <laughs> Any day now. See you around, Travis. Take it easy. 10-4. Catch you later, buddy. Huh? Hey, come back! Travis Grady, our trucker protagonist. If I'm not mistaken, this is supposed to be a send up to the opening of Silent Hill 2. Or at least it, it's going for the same sense of isolation and distance that made the trek from the road to the town so brilliant at the start of that game.
by the way, I think this is one of Akira Yamaoka's best soundtracks. Please do not sleep on this one. Someone's in there. This burning house uh, is going to get real familiar real soon. Because we've seen it before. This is the exact same stairway that you see in a cutscene near the very end of Silent Hill 1 in Nowhere. Uh, there's a cutscene, if you remember, with this phantasmal view of Alessa and Dahlia struggling. I think it's right before the final boss. Uh, what wasn't there is this. There's something to this painting. Makes me want to stop and look. This isn't the time. That is a painting of Pyramid Head. Not a big fan of that. So we're not on a timer. We're not going to die of smoke inhalation. I think you can get hurt if you touch the flames. And just across the counter, we can see a symbol on the floor and someone in it. You're coming with me. So because we played Silent Hill 1, oops, we know this to be Alessa, and the woman skulking behind the house, very likely to be, goddamn, it's like playing human operation, can't touch the sides. Uh, the woman skulking around the house was very likely Dahlia Gillespie. You know, gyromancy lady. So our controls are actually by default 3D controls. Uh, there are no tank controls in this game. Even though we still have all of the disorienting Dutch angles that Silent Hill is known for, or rather was up to this point. In fact, there is no option for tank controls. Silent Hill 2 and 3 uh, let you toggle between them. Now that very helpful halo of the sun, the symbol of the cult, is going to lead us on a path through the fire. If you complete this section in under 80 seconds, uh, at the end of the game, you will unlock a firefighter outfit. Safe now. Hey, someone help her. Where is everyone?
Silent Hill. What happened last night? That girl. Did she make it? They would have taken her to the hospital. Coont Street. I need to see if she's okay. So we're on Crichton. We need to take a right onto Coont Street. And then arrive back in the cold embrace of Alcamila Hospital. Oh, it's been too long. Been way too long. As usual, all of the street names are named after famous horror authors. You know, I used to think all of this stuff with the fire was a major retcon for some reason. Uh, but I went back through Silent Hill 1. They leave it ambiguous enough uh, that this depiction of Alessa being burned isn't actually terribly inconsistent with anything. At least not anything else from the series to this point, with the exception of, I think, maybe a guidebook that came out after the fact. So we now have the map for Alcamilla Hospital. The layout is not all that different uh, from the Alcamilla Hospital of Silent Hill 1. So currently, the second and third floors of the hospital are undergoing renovations at this time. They're closed to patients and visitors. Work continues in earnest, and the hospital management thanks you for your continued cooperation as we try to minimize the disruption. We estimate the construction will be completed within six months. The restructuring of the third floor will almost double our capacity for inpatients and introduce cleaner, more modern facilities. Here at Alcamilla, the care we provide to you, our valued patients, is of the utmost importance. Dr. Phillips, Chairman of the Alcamilla Board. And we get our first save point. Thank you, Triangle Man. Or Bill Cipher. <laughs> And we're going to get another first for the game right here. Trying to go into the exam room. Our first shit's jammed. Why does it feel like it's been way too long since I did a survival horror game? Even though it's probably only been a few months. Spoilers for Alcamilla Hospital. A lot of shit is jammed. Oh, I centered the camera and disoriented myself. Like an ass. Okay. Man, what's this funky beat? Hey, you a doctor? Can I help you? That fire last night. The girl who was burned. Is she here? A girl? We've received no new patients in the last day or so. Was she hurt? She was burned all over. Are you a relative? What did you say her name was? I don't know her name. I was the one who saved her from the fire. She must have been brought here. Is there another hospital? I'm sorry. Perhaps someone in reception could help you. I have urgent business to attend to. Goodbye. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Shady hospital director. And a dirty gurney. Hygiene standards have not improved from Origins to Silent Hill 1. Remember the basement of Alcamilla Hospital had giant roaches in it. enemy of the game uh, is actually a nurse. I think one of the more kind of bog-standard nurse designs 
Although I guess they can't really do the parasitized ones from Silent Hill 1 yet. So they just go with kind of the tried and true design. Also, you see the color on the plus icon in the bottom right corner of the icon. Uh, that indicates durability, so that sledgehammer that we just picked up and beat that nurse with, that is not permanent. Also, you notice the inventory system for weapons is very much akin to that of Silent Hill 4's. Uh, except now with fucking hideous Breath of the Wild, incredibly low durability weapons, and another bloodstained gurney. That's one of the things I'm not a big fan of about Silent Hill Origins, but we'll put up with that. Preliminary diagnosis, third degree burns, patient is unconscious. Something has prevented damage spreading to the internal organs, tissue damage is limited to the epidermis and extremities of limbs. How is this possible? Good question. Something wrong with the mirror. The reflection isn't right. It almost looks rusted and bloody. <laughs> oh well. Can't do anything else with it. And speaking of homage, this is a very light homage to everyone's favorite room from Silent Hill 3. You're the girl from the fire. How did you... I'm seeing things. This ain't right. That's a remarkably quick time to other world and what we just picked up by the way are a pair of plastic model lungs and also we started with this lucky quarter in our inventory i've had this quarter since i was a kid from when my parents died it's kind of a lucky charm it has something scratched into it looks like 61 Again, very traditional other world. Rust and blood and industrial noises. And more aggressive nurses. So almost everything on the second floor as of right now in the other world is super, super locked or jammed. Uh, by the way, the distinction, if you haven't played a Silent Hill game before, locks that are jammed or broken are doors that we are never, ever going to go into. Uh, if they say they are locked or locked from the other side, uh, it means that we are eventually going to go into that room. We just need to find a key item. But there are one or two doors uh, on this floor left that are still operable. This being one of them. Don't know what the fuck this room is all about. But we can come in here and get a golden phoenix egg. And find a memo. Parts of this note are obscured. Worry not. Da -da 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 -da. I've used the do 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 to contain her power. No one will come to her aid. Something, 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 something. One of the five something. Hide them. Protect them. We can probably fill in some of those blanks, but just in case you haven't played Silent Hill 1, we'll let that unravel over time. Here, light 
heartbeat noise, and that's because this heart of mine troubles me with its trembling. To still it, I put it on ice and locked it away. Remember, the three beauties who cause it to pump, so, are the key. Age before beauty. We have none of the information we need to open that thing up right now. And really, that's it for the second floor right now, except for this, a portable TV. Oh my god, I cannot wait to show you what the portable TVs in this game are all about. Because <laughs> it's honestly one of the fucking dumbest but funniest things about it. Oh my god, the fucking TVs. I'm so excited. So hey, developed by a western team, but this does not feel alien. This feels like a real Silent Hill game so far, do you agree? There's a death mask on the door. Even the blind have need of eyes if they wish to gaze at the future. Okay, clearly we have nothing we need for that. That's not what the phoenix egg is used for. And juke around her. an oval depression in the door underneath is a plaque which reads, Even in this inferno from out of the flames I saw life born anew. That sounds like a use for the ornate golden phoenix egg. This is one of the bathrooms that was locked in the first trip through. And just like that, we transition away from the other world. So that is one of the major gimmicks of Origins, is that the other world can be freely transitioned to. Amy 31. It's kind of like the Dark World in A Link to the Past. We got Lounge Key as well. And if you were looking at the map and wondering how the hell we were going to unlock that from the other side when no other room leads to it. Hey, light world, dark world. Uh, we're going to continue back to the lobby and just wrap this up real quick. I think this is a pretty solid look uh, at the beginning of Silent Hill Origins. I'm really excited to do more of this. And really underrated one. Thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Have a good one.